guys, I'm Jay Gabrielle, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm reviewing the Vixen Blowout Straight Wig. So if you've been on my channel before, if you're subscribed or have just happened to have seen the video, I did review the Vixen Yaki version and actually I have that one right here so I can do a little bit of a comparison because I know that some people who are subscribed to my channel probably just want to know what the difference is. So I will go ahead and answer that for you right now. So basically the Vixen one, um, the Vixen Yaki one, sorry, is just a little bit more silky. The one that I'm wearing at the moment which is the blowout straight is just a little bit more suited for like a natural texture or natural looking unit I feel like if you are going to be doing leave out with this wig and you're natural such as myself so I'm natural my hair is like 4b 4c then this one might be the one to go for so the blowout straight rather than the Vixen Yaki. So before I go any further, I just wanna let you know that today's video is brought to you by elevatestyles.com and you can see a link to this unit and their website down below in the description box, so definitely go and check them out. So as with the other Vixen unit, this one comes with four combs in the front, two combs in the back, and then it also has that crisscross kind of structure, so the parting space that's kind of crisscross. It then also has a pre-tweezed part, but in my opinion, the pre tweezed part isn't very good so with the Vixen Yaki unit I actually went ahead and cut some baby hairs into that just so I can wear it on a daily basis and it looks a little bit more natural and then with today's unit I've actually got a little bit of leave out I was going to do like a half up half down but the sides they just lift they do lift up and it's really annoying if you're kind of a beginner or if you're just not in the mood if you just want to throw it on a wig and go with like a little bit of leave out it just it will get on your nerves it definitely will. Also, I thought having leave out would make this unit like easier to work with and look a little bit more natural, but it's actually not. It is still a lot of work. So when I put this unit on, the part and my scalp part just kind of looked really off. So what I actually had to do was cut some of the lace off. So I kind of cut it into like a triangle. So that was my first step. Then I had to like darken up the lace on the side because as I said, it's pre-tweezed. So you do have to like darken it up. Otherwise you're just gonna be able to see like two little beige lines and it just looks a little bit weird. Um, then finally I added my powder and that did kind of help. But the annoying thing about this wig is that it has like a weird like plasticky band on like the inside so no matter how much powder you put on it like you're still going to be able to see that band and I haven't really figured out a way to get rid of it as such just yet so like realistically if you are going to be wearing this unit like with people you're going to school you're going to work whatever like you are going to be able to see it and it is going to look just a little bit wiggy of course if wearing like two buns in your hair or something and having the part in space is that important to you then yeah this definitely might be the wig to go for so I decided to switch up my hair and just put a little band in the back but anyway so styling this unit today I did get a lot of shedding more than I got with the last one actually it hasn't been tangling on me too much yet but obviously I know that it will just because it is a synthetic wig and just because it is a little bit more yakky but anyway like I said this unit she is just work if you're willing to put in the work then it could be for you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to go and check out my review of the Vixen Yaki and that little versatility showcase. And I will see you guys again soon for another video. Bye guys.